Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is me, T7Gaming, here with another episode, and today we are going to be making this cool medieval house dungeon thing that I really like. I'm really proud of this build, I worked really hard on it, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Let's take a quick tour and see all of its vicinities. Obviously you have the facade, which I'm really proud of. Then you have two rooms. You have one here, which I made this kind of an enchantment room. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Then over here, I have the um, bedroom, which is just beds, chests, and yeah, lots of cool stuff here. And then there's the backyard, which I really like this backyard because it has a little lake and it's just so calm and serene and it looks better at sunset. So time, I'm going to say time set. Let's do morning because it looks cool in the morning too. Yeah, that looks nice. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing you want to do is make it a little 3x3 three three circle, just like so, but you want to leave out this middle block here because that's the hallway into the rooms. And you can also leave out this one, but I prefer not to. Then you want to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Then you want to redo your circle just like you had it before. Just like that, leave out this block, 1, 2, 3. Leave out this block, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Just like that, break out these temporary blocks. You want to build this up about seven blocks. So once you've built this up seven blocks, you want to come over here to the front, bust out these two blocks, leave a block of space, and then bust out those two blocks. Do the same thing on the other side, just like this, just like this. Then you want to come down here with a upside down staircase. I forgot one block. Uh, I need black stained glass. Well, I prefer black stained glass. You can do any color you want. If you want to be more happy, you can maybe choose white stained glass, but I like the menacing look of this. You want to grab yourself some stone brick stairs, go around right side up, just like this. Um, and I would stop right there because it gets a little confusing once you get further on into the build. So just leave it up to there, um, just like that. And yeah, let me just do that. There we go. And then once you get here, you want to get yourself your fence post and build like that. You want to bust out these three blocks and actually place a jack-o'-lantern on uh, the three of those. Just like that. And then you want to place uh, your cobblestone walls going up here. And you also want to place a jack-o'-lantern here and go up just like that. Same thing on this side jack-o'-lantern and go up three blocks. Obviously you want to do the same thing to the other side so if you want to see it again you want to place your upside down cobblestone stair there you want to place your uh, stone brick stairs going around just like that I'll stop there just like that and then you want to come up here with your fence posts you want to break out these three blocks and replace them with jack-o'-lanterns you want to go up with your cobblestone wall, go up with your cobblestone wall here. Once you place a pumpkin there, you want to go up three blocks. Uh, this is actually supposed to be cobblestone wall. I don't know why I did fence. Um, and then you want to do the same thing here with a jack-o'-lantern. And that's not a jack-o'-lantern, but okay, I'll fix it later. All right, so now that I've fixed the jack-o'-lantern issue, all you really want to do is grab yourself some stairs. I forgot to grab those stairs, get yourself some oak stairs, and an oak slab, and what you want to do with those is make yourself a roof, nice pretty little roof, you want to just grab this, go around like this, all the way around, and also what you want to do is you want to place your, um, your panes, which this is gray, not black, wow, that's annoying. Um, and yeah. Alright, so once you went all the way around on one layer, you want to do the same thing to the second layer. Except this one's a little bit more difficult. You want to just do some cool trickery here. Just like that. Go farther. Uh, all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Just like that. I'm going to break that block because it's useless now. All the way around. And then for this last one, just like that. And also you want to grab your slabs or full blocks if you would like um, and just finish this off just like that. Then it's pretty simple. You just make a little addition sign and then another 
one on top, and then do it to the other side. Yay! So now that you've got two um, of these watchtowers built, what you want to do is you want to come out here from the back and actually build yourself a room. It doesn't really matter what size it is. I'm just going to make mine small for tutorial purposes because this tutorial is already pretty long, so I'm going to make it fairly smaller than um, a room should be. So I'm just going to build it up three blocks and etc. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side because what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Alright, so once you have your two rooms built, what you want to do is you want to build a little railing, I guess, for your watchmen. I don't know. I like how this looks. <laughs> and it also allows for a source of lighting whenever we get to that. So, yeah. Just build it all the way around on both sides and you should be good. Then, what you want to do is you want to get into your interior, grab yourself a stair. I keep misspelling stair. There we go grab yourself that cobblestone stair and place it upside down there and then you can just place a block here place a block here and make these glass if you want I would just fill it in this is where your stair is going to go fill, so fill these in with your floor block whatever you choose for that to be or you could leave it as grass and um, like bone meal the area to make it look overgrown or something like that I'm actually going to put this here and try it out let's get bone meal just like that and make this yeah it kind of looks kind of broken kind of I'll make that cobblestone yeah yeah just like that that looks cool I like that yeah and do the same thing on the other side with the stair and everything uh, stair fill this up all the way and then uh, cobblestone and etc etc Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to place a block here all the way, fill this in and fill this in on this side. And you want to build out a layer on this side, build out a layer on this side. Go all the way across actually, uh, that's my fault. Uh, once you've built all the way across, what you want to do is go in a block and grab yourself some cobblestone stairs just like that. Grab yourself some cobblestone stairs on this side too, just like that. Then come in here, grab yourself some slabs, go up a block like that, go across, go all the way across, and then uh, and then replace these with uh, cobblestone blocks, like all the way full. And then what you want to do is on the inside you want to place yourself matching uh, glass. And then up here you want to make your uh, banner logo. So you want to go up a, a fair height, um, doesn't really matter how high you go. Um, I'm actually going to go up like two blocks higher. And this is where everyone can see what 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 you associate yourself with, um, with banners like I have on that one, which you can't see right now. Alright, so from here you want to go to this block and make yourself your little pavilion walkway thingy mabobber. Just go out a fair distance. I've said fair twice this episode, and it's not a word that I use often, but I kind of liked using it. Um, go up all the way here, and then you have yourself a little walkway in, and you want to do the same thing on the other side, where you go out quite a distance, a little bit past this, and this is where your backyard is going to be. So this is cool, this is cool. Um, just like that. And over here you should probably put two fence posts. I'm going to put one here and probably here. So now basically your build is done. All you have left is your interior, which I'm not going to spend any time on your in on the interior. All I'm going to do really quick is grab some torches and place them where I like to place the torches. And then I'll show you this build in nighttime, which is my favorite time to show this build because it's just so menacing. Uh, you place two torches here so that mobs don't spawn on your... Uh, walkway for your watchmen and then you place two torches on this side this side this side this side come down here and place torches I place a torch I'll place a torch there place torches here and here and one back here and same thing on the other side um, one torch here torches here here and here and cool all I would really do other than this is add the walkway down the middle which if you want to see what that looks like 
it's just broken. Also, this one you may notice is, it looks broken because I've, I've done the detailing like with the uh, broken paths and stuff. So if you want to do any of that, then go ahead and do that. I also forgot to do that thing, so let me do that real quick. Um, tiny, tiny, tiny little detail that I shouldn't forget to do. Um, just like that, just like that. And yeah, uh, where's my stairs? goes in two blocks on each side and then grab yourself a stair boom boom and yeah so yeah now your build is entirely done thank you guys very much for watching this episode if you guys enjoyed let me uh turn it to nighttime one second uh time set night um it doesn't look good enough yet We'll just wait for it to get super dark. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed, then go ahead and leave a like. If you guys would like to see more, then go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!